Welcome back to GDT Tech Reviews. In this video we are going to do a detailed review and pick the top 5 best laptop for students, 2021. So let us get started and the review based on our studies and small research. If you have any personal suggestion do let us know in the comment section. If you are for the first time don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more videos. We will be also providing affiliates link to purchase from Amazon. Kindly use to for best offers and purchase from anywhere in the world. So let's get started. The Surface Laptop has always been a gorgeous piece of hardware, and the Surface Laptop 4 is definitely no exception. The model we got in for review is the 13.5-inch Surface Laptop 4, and it is one of the most lightweight and thin laptops we've ever used that doesn't totally suck to type on. It comes in four color options, and we got the Platinum option. It's beautiful. The lid of the Platinum Surface Laptop 4 is, well, platinum colored, with the only marking being a Chrome Microsoft logo square in the middle of the laptop. The bottom of the laptop looks similar, but the keyboard tray has a slightly darker color. The laptop is just 0.57 inches thick and weighs just 2.79 pounds, 1.3 kilograms, which makes it a breeze to carry around in your bag while commuting around. But even with the Surface Laptop 4 being so thin, it still feels incredibly robust. The lid is made of aluminum and has absolutely no flex to it. And, unlike a lot of other touchscreen laptops out there, when you poke that the display the hinge is so solid that you don't have to readjust your screen afterwards or brace it with your other hand. This in and of itself makes using the touchscreen way more convenient and makes it feel like less of a gimmick, something other laptop manufacturers can definitely learn from. But as solid as the top of the laptop is, the story of the keyboard deck is all about comfort. As is now traditional with the Surface Laptop, the keyboard and trackpad are surrounded by an Alcantara material that is nice and soft, it's a suede-like microfiber pile. It makes typing so much more comfortable right out of the gate, because instead of this hard metal like you get with most comparable laptops, it's nice and soft. But there's a downside to it. If you spill something on this material, or you get crumbs on it during a lunch break, we get the feeling that it will get dirty and would be a bit harder to clean than it otherwise would be. But if you're conscious of hygiene and don't find yourself stuffing your face while also trying to get the project that's due in the morning out the door, it should be perfect. Even though the LG Kilogram might be a more literally accurate name for this laptop, the LG Gram 17, 2021, is shockingly light regardless. It's arguably the very first thing you'll notice about the laptop when first picking it up out of the box. It's hard to truly gauge the value of this without holding the laptop yourself, but trust us when we say its light weight of just 2.98 pounds, 1.35 kilograms, is a remarkable achievement for a 17-inch laptop. That weight positions the LG Gram 17, 2021, as one of the lightest 17-inch laptops around. Other productivity-based laptops certainly don't fare as well in this regard. The Gigabyte Aero 17, for example, weighs almost twice as much at 5.5 pounds, 2.49 kilograms, while the XMG Pro 17 fares a bit better at 5.1 pounds, 2.3 kilograms. That's still roughly a whole kilogram the LG Gram 17, 2021, has over its competition, then. Still, if you want to go even lighter, the LG Gram 14 and 16-inch variants weigh even less and are slightly cheaper to boot. Those could be better options if you're concerned about the extra real estate taken up by the LG Gram 17, 2021. Speaking of real estate, the LG Gram 17, 2021's dimensions are 15 by 10.3 by 0.7 inches, 381 by 261 by 17.78 millimeters. While the larger screen does take away from some of the portability aspect of its 14 and 16 inch counterparts, the impressively thin depth makes it compact enough to fit into an appropriately sized laptop bag with no issue. You might think that such a lightweight design comes at the cost of durability. After all, heftier laptops can give users peace of mind when it comes to preventing accidental damages. The LG Gram 17, 2021, is still impressively sturdy, however, featuring a full metal body that's resistant to drops, dust and other common forms of wear and tear. The ThinkPad X1 Carbon, G2, 
Gen 9, has the classic raven black, rectangular ThinkPad aesthetic we come to expect from Lenovo over the years. The lightweight chassis is made from a combination of magnesium and carbon fiber, with a nice, soft touch feel on the palm rest. There's an optional carbon fiber we've lid that gives the laptop an added touch of class and a softer texture, but it only comes on configurations that have a 3840 by 2400 display. There are a few subtle, but important, design changes from the Gen 8 version of the ThinkPad X1 Carbon. The chassis is a little bit longer and narrower, 12.38 by 8.72 inches versus 12.7 by 8.5 inches, in order to accommodate a 16-10 aspect ratio screen as opposed to the 16-9 to panels carbons have used previously. This allows for more vertical screen real estate you can use for reading web pages or editing documents. The dual hinges from Gen 8 have been replaced by one long, round hinge that takes up most of the width of the lid. And, in a welcome change, the power button now sits above the right side of the keyboard, where we would expect it. Though most laptops have their power buttons above the keyboard, Lenovo had placed the 8x1 Carbon, Gen 8S button on the side so that users could easily turn it on even if the lid was closed and it was connected to a docking station. In terms of year-on-year -year laptop improvements, we have literally never seen a glow up like the Dell XPS 15 2021. It's thinner, lighter, has smaller bezels and brings the speakers to the top of the device. With all of these improvements, the XPS 15 has catapulted ahead of the 13-inch model to be the Windows laptop to get. Now we get it, not everyone wants to carry around a bulky 15-inch laptop, no matter what kind of performance improvements come with the beefier hardware. However, this XPS 15 is just 0.71 inches, 18 millimeters, thick and weighs just 4.5 pounds, 2.05 kilograms. Definitely not the lightest laptop in the world, but with this kind of hardware and a battery that lasts as long as it does, it's definitely more portable than it even needs to be. As far as ports, things did get cut back quite a bit, with it being narrowed down to three Thunderbolt 3 ports, an SD card reader and a headphone jack. That does mean that folks that want to use a bunch of legacy peripherals will have to live that dongle life, but that's kind of the world we've been living in over the last few years anyway. The fact that Dell was gracious enough to include an SD card reader in a thinnish laptop in 2020 is more than enough to earn our praise, given that we're constantly on the hunt for our USB-C SD card adapter anyways. With how gorgeous the laptop is, anyway, we'll easily look past this lack of legacy ports. Seriously, made entirely of CNC aluminum with clean edges and that typical Dell logo on the outside, this is a stylish laptop. The MacBook Air's performance, powered by the M1 processor and 16GB of RAM, is phenomenal. When I split its screen between 20 Chrome, Intel, not Universal, tabs and a 1080p YouTube video, plus Apple's Mail and Photos app, Pixelmator, again, an Intel app, and 1Password, Intel, again, in the background, I never saw anything close to a hiccup. Oh, and in the background, 20 gigabytes of 4K video was being airdrop transferred, while everything stayed smooth and stable. During a group call, I even found time to play around with iOS apps, downloading and opening the Overcast Podcatcher, HBO Max and the game Among Us. All while a 4K YouTube video of a chef cooking played on my laptop monitor. I played around in each of those apps, so I could start an Adventure Time episode, download a podcast and drag my Lil Among Us guy around on screen. Yes, I'm very good at multitasking. Most of the time, the MacBook Air with M1 felt, performance-wise, like it was identical, if not faster, than the 2020 Core i5 MacBook Pro I've used to test Big Sur, or the 2017 Core i7 MacBook Pro work computer I replied upon. This includes when I connected an external monitor. Before this, I was a bit skeptical, even with Apple's boasts of 3.5x improved performance versus the Intel MacBook Air released earlier this year, because I've always pushed my MacBooks to the limit, and needed a MacBook Pro, and not an Air, to do my work. This MacBook Air? It feels like a Pro. 
and let's see how that shakes out in benchmarks and I'll note that not all of our tests were done with universal versions of apps, and Intel versions aren't optimized for the M1. The Air scored 5,962 on the Geekbench 5.1, Intel, multi-core test, which was practically in a dead heat with the 5,925 from the M1 MacBook Pro.